A beautiful afternoon here at Hodgetown as we are under two weeks away from opening night here in downtown Amarillo. Voice of the Sod Poodle, Sam Levitt with you. And right now I'm joined by Carson Leverett and GM Tony Enser. And why are we all here today? Well, we are ready to debut our Sod Poodles anthem. And before we get to the anthem and you hear it for the very first time, let's rewind back to the summertime when we presented five names, five names for this brand new team here in Amarillo. The choices, they were abundant. And Sod Poodles, Carson, really stuck out to you. Why was that? Uh, well, when the names were first released, you know, it took some getting used to, but after doing a little research on minor league team names, that one had the most zing. It seemed like the one that was going to stick out the most is going to help the team have some longevity. And I mean, who doesn't love prairie dogs? So I, I thought the name was hilarious and uh, fun, and I figured the kids would like it. So why not write a goofy song about it? Now, everybody had a favorite choice, but you took that to the next level. You went and wrote a song, you put it up on YouTube. Take me through that process of writing the Sod Poodles Anthem. It was very basic, just you and a guitar, but there it was. Uh, so the names were released on a Wednesday and then that Friday I played music with some guys in this local pedal steel players named Stacy Scheller. He knew I liked the name Sod Poodles and he liked it too and said, you need to write the Sod Poodles song, man, because he knows I like to write goofy songs. And so he told me that on that Friday and that Saturday I wrote the song and sent it to him and we tweaked a few things, but by that Sunday I was ready to record it and put it up. And I was a little hesitant to go public with it, but I was encouraged by some friends. So we put it out there that Monday or Tuesday and it kind of took off. Now let's be honest, most YouTube videos, they get a few views, nobody really cares or anything like that, but the original Sod Poodles anthem, Tony and Sir, it began to get some traction and the community really got behind this name, Sod Poodles. Yeah, it really did, Sam. And, and when Carson wrote this, you know, we were going through a time where there was a lot of uh, community uh, uh, engagement with the names and you know, some people liked them, some people didn't, uh, had their favorites uh, and, and ones they liked a little bit less. But when we put this out there and we knew we had something special uh, with the Sod Poodle name, but we were a little bit nervous about it, quite frankly. And, you know, with, this is something that had never been done. You know, we had some criteria for the name. It had to be original. It had to be engaging. It had to be fun, something memorable, something good for families and kids and something that was really fun. And so... Uh, when we heard this song, and there was a lot of things going on at the time, but when we heard the song, we're like, wow. And there was something that stuck with me, and I love the, the first verse of the song, but really the second verse and the third verse of the song, when he starts to incorporate the fan experience at the ballpark and then engages with uh, the rest of the Texas League and talks about the players and the pitchers and, and how Sod Poodles all comes together in that, we knew we had something really special, and that made us feel, I mean, this, to me, uh, Carson, really set us on a path of going, you know, this, is, this kind of name is special. It was Carson. It was also seeing signs up at the local Chick-fil-A saying that chicken tastes better than sod poodles. We had yard signs being made. We had cookies, baked goods, T-shirts being made, uh, all kinds of things. We had a, a local attorney using commercials with the sod poodle name. So, but when Carson wrote this song and it incorporated baseball, and incorporated the fans, that we knew we had something special. Absolutely, and it was certainly something special because you wanted Carson's song to be a part of the game day experience here at Hodgetown and really be a part of the Sod Poodles brand. So you took it to the next level. It was a YouTube video, but you actually went and recorded this thing with a bunch of different musicians. Yeah, so um, I talked to Tony and he mentioned that he wanted to incorporate the song and I knew uh, from my experience in music that we we're gonna have to have a lot better version than what was on YouTube uh, So I did some recording myself uh, Here in town and I got that pedal steel player Stacy Scheller the one who actually told me to write the song He's he plays on the song and has a little solo right before the last course and, uh, and Then I messaged some of the Emerald Symphony guys on Facebook and they recorded the uh, trumpet and trombone really cool guys just met them on Facebook they came over recorded and after that I had the bass for the song and I went and booked a session my sister is a musician out in Nashville she helped me book a session with some real demo musicians some studio guys out in Nashville we put down the drums and the electric guitar and everything and 
had her wrapped up in about two or three days. What do you say? The Sod Poodles Go Country, recorded in Nashville by Carson and so many great musicians. Well, Tony, another special aspect about this song is that it's by an Amarillo native. There are Amarillo-based musicians playing the instruments. It really is about bringing this community together, much like we want to do every single night here at Hodgetown. You know, I think that's what makes this song so special, this name so special, the brand, the logo, the mascot, everything is so special. It is local. It was done by a local musician, local local writer, local uh, folks involved in the production of it. You know, there's something that just says this is fun. And that's what baseball, minor league baseball is supposed to be about fun. Sod poodles are about fun. It kind of reminded me that kind of that colloquialism of uh, like the like the seventh inning stretch where Carson was able to incorporate the fans, the players, the league, just the whole community into uh, into this song. And I think that's what makes it so special. And that's what we recognize. And it was just genius on, uh, on Carson's part to, to put it all together. And now it's become our anthem. Well, some would say Amarillo by morning is the Amarillo anthem. We needed an anthem here in Hodgetown. So without further ado, Carson, I'll let you do the honors. All right, everybody, we're gonna play the Sod Poodle anthem, listen for the horns and everybody sing along in the course. <laughs> All right, enjoy and let's go Soddies. They ain't just like a little yippin' dog, a little bit smaller than a big round hog. They run real wild and they smile all the time. They used to be called Prairie Dogs, but that won't work for double-A ball when it's the bottom of the ninth and the game is on the line. They are the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles, that's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. And when you come to our rough and rugged town, you might laugh and point and say, oh lordy man, their name's insane. But you won't be laughing when you get beat down. By the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles, that's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. You won't be laughing when you get beat down. By the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles, that's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. Cheer them on so they don't stay underground. So grab a beer, a couple hot dogs, kick your legs back and maybe catch a foul ball. Cheer on them pups, and man, they sure are good. When the seventh comes, stand up and stretch, eat a big old pretzel without regrets. Them pups will win just like we knew they would. They are the side poodles, side poodles, that's right, they're called the side poodles. You better be careful when you're driving into the wind. Cause our ace will go for 15 Ks, a couple homers from our big DH. Them side pups, man, they sure know how to win. They are the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles, that's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. And Sod Pups, man, they sure know how to win. They are the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles, that's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. And Sod Pups, man, they sure know how to win. So when them Rough Riders ride into Hodgetown, they better watch out for them holes in the ground. Them sod poodle homes will break their legs in two. Little arms and long teeth laughing at you. And them oil field drillers from that Oklahoma town, man, they'll go cross-eyed and crazy chasing them pups round and round. When the ninth inning comes, it's 11 to three. And the poodles put the drillers out of their misery. So if you're rooting for a team in that Texas league, man, it's got to be the one up in Yellow City. You might lose your ball cap in the Southwestern wind, but man, them sod poodles, man, they sure know how to win. They are the sod poodles, sod poodles, that's right, they're called the sod poodles. Them sod pups, man, they sure know how to win. They are the sod poodles, sod poodles. That's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. And Sod Pups, man, they sure know how to win. They are the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles. That's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. And Sod Pups, man, they sure know how to win. They are the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles. That's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. And Sod Poodles, yeah, they sure know how to win. One more time, here we go. It's the Sod Poodles, Sod Poodles. That's right, they're called the Sod Poodles. 
Them side pops, man, they sure know how to win. How about them side pops?